What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl Tay, and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. All right, so jumping right into it, you guys. Word on the street slash capital. A fourth stimulus check could lift 7 million Americans out of poverty, okay? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I feel like they should have written this legislation, this particular legislation that we're talking about where they want to do $2,000 a month, I think a $2,000 one, one time payment and then $1,000 recurring until after they get us out of the pandemic, okay? But I think they should have done that when everything first began. It would have made a lot more sense instead of going back and forth, having to write up all these different bills and getting them passed and getting them signed just to give another little bit of money and then another little bit of money and then another little bit of money. I mean, it's like they're giving us breadcrumbs, you know what I'm saying? Rather than and keeping the economy going. So an analysis that was published Tuesday by the Tax Policy Center at the Urban Institute and Brookings Institution validated the thought of a follow-up $1,400 check would lift 7.2 million more Americans out of poverty. In addition, two more stimulus checks, if approved, uh, more than 12 million uh, Americans would be lifted out of poverty. Now, my first question for this is at what cost? How much is this going to cost? How is this going to affect us all in the long run? Does that mean higher taxes for everybody? What exactly does that mean? Okay. And uh, another question that they're worried about is, is it all people in the U.S. or only citizens? Okay. So I, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I like the thought of recurring tax payments or stimulus payments i'm sorry um however again it's just i feel like we're going to end up taking that in some other way shape or form okay but 21 senate democrats led by ron wyden are pushing president joe biden to include recurring direct payments and an extension of jobless benefits in his economic recovery plan they want the aid tied to economic conditions so it does not lapse too early which is what i was talking about everything that they have done has an end date okay um so when when those end dates come when all of their extensions expire then people are left in the same situation as they were before still trying to still struggling trying to figure out how they're going to pay their rent and their bills okay biden plans to unveil his infrastructure recovery plan proposal Wednesday, which I think he already did, but I'm not going to go over that um, in this video. More Senate Democrats are pressuring President Joe Biden to extend rescue measures as the U.S. recovers from the pandemic-fueled economic, economic drubbing. 21 members of the Senate Democratic Caucus wrote to the president Tuesday urging him to include these direct payments in his next recovery plan, okay? The senators led by Finance Committee Chair Ron Wyden of Oregon aim to tie the aid to economic conditions again so things don't lapse early. This crisis is far from over, he says, and families deserve certainty that they can put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads, the senators wrote. Families should not be at the mercy of constantly shifting legislative timelines and ad hoc solutions. And I agree. Like I said, it's it's something that they should have done already in the beginning. There were several other countries that I spoke about in a previous video who already enacted these types of legislations where they were giving their citizens a monthly reoccurring stimulus because they knew that they couldn't go out there and work as they would normally have done had the pandemic not been the 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 issue of destruction right now, okay? It says Wyden has long called for Congress to phase out assistance as economy approves so Americans do not lose benefits at arbitrary dates chosen by lawmakers. Democrats included a $300 per week unemployment supplement through September 6 and a $1,400 direct payments as part of their pandemic relief package passed earlier this month. Wyden wants to avoid repeating what took place last summer when jobless benefit boosts expired and contributed to millions of Americans falling into poverty. While the job market continues to climb back towards pre-pandemic levels, many lawmakers worry the existing aid measures will not go far enough while roughly 19 million people are receiving some form of unemployment benefits. The senators who signed the letter include Wyden, uh, Senate Democrat Dick Durbin of Illinois, Budget Committee Chair Bernie Sanders, of course, you know, he's been rooting for this from the very beginning, a Vermont independent whose caucuses, who caucuses with Democrats, Banking Committee Chair Sherrod Brown of Ohio, and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, okay? I definitely think that 
this is a good idea. Like I said, my only issue is at what cost? What is this going to cost us in the long run? Okay. Um, how, how, how are they going to fund this? I know that they were talking about minting two coins or something of that fashion in order to pay for this so that the, uh, the country doesn't amass any more debt. Um, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. I don't, I don't know, but I definitely think so, that is something that we should continue to keep an eye on. I mean, realistically, considering the fact that they just passed this stimulus package um, not too long ago, even if they were to get reoccurring stimulus payments, the reality of that happening anytime soon, I think is slim to none. Most likely we'll probably go the next six months without that package being approved probably going back and forth in a negotiation especially if they're trying to get it under bipartisan support we know right now that the bipartisan support for this type of package is not going to happen they didn't have bipartisan support when they passed this uh, previous american rescue plan the democrats had to do that using uh, the process called the budget Re reconciliation now i don't know if they would be able to do that for this i don't know if they're even considering it i know that they have up to nine times to use that process without you know, including their Republican opposition or anyone for that matter, because there were some Democrats who um, opposed the previous stimulus package as well. But I honestly don't see this going past being passed or any written legislation, any legal documents being drawn up anytime soon. So um, definitely something for us to keep an eye out on. Now, in terms of the uh, $10,200 tax break. It says taxpayers who already filed returns will automatically get stimulus break on IRS on, on unemployment benefits. The IRS says, okay, so they release some more guidance. You guys have to excuse me when I'm waking up. I just woke up and I took all that medicine last night to help me get over this, uh, cold or whatever so my my brain is just a little bit groggy so bear with me you guys bear with me um it says americans who lost their jobs last year have already filed their tax returns will have one lettuce less headache to deal with the internal revenue service will automatically recalculate their returns to account for the new stimulus tax break on the first ten thousand two hundred of unemployment compensation received in 2020 the agency said just yesterday it will then send a, any refund directly to taxpayers likely starting in may and continuing into the summer so what they're going to do instead of having everyone who already filed their tax returns for the year 2020 file an amended return they're just going to go back into those returns for those who have filed who are supposed to receive the ten thousand two hundred dollar tax break and they're going to issue you a refund if you're supposed to get one or they're going to send that money to any other um irs debts that you owe so if you owe any taxes uh then that money is going to go directly towards that you won't be getting that money okay it says for those who have already filed the agency will do the recalculations in two phases starting with those eligible for up to the $10,200 exclusion, it will then adjust returns for married taxpayers filing jointly um, who are eligible for up to $20,400 exclusion and for returns with more complex returns. Or, I'm sorry, and for others with more complex returns. The IRS has had previously signaled that people who received benefits last year should not submit amended returns saying it would provide additional guidance, okay? Some taxpayers, however, will still need to file an amended return since the tax break might make them newly eligible for certain federal credits and deductions. For instance, if you now qualify for the earned income tax credit or for a larger credit amount. Plus, filers may want to review their state income tax returns since some states are also offering the tax break. Now, I also read another article saying that there's about 13 states who are not offering this, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. So if you've already filed your tax return, don't worry. They are going to go through those. Like they said, payments for those. If you are due an additional refund, you will start to see that in May going all the way into the summer. For those who uh, mainly single and head of household filers who are qualified for the $10,200 tax break, and then they're going to start working on married couples who are qualified for the $20,400 tax break. Okay. Um, I think that's definitely good news. Definitely good news. Good news, good news, good news. I'm pretty sure everyone who's 
receiving SSI veterans benefits, railroad benefits, and all that. You guys know that they have issued a payout date. They're going to get those payments distributed by April the 7th. Some people may actually see those deposits this weekend. So definitely check your direct express card or whatever means in which you receive payments. If you usually receive a check, I don't know because I've, I've not, not really dealt with SSI benefits. But if you receive a check, then you will receive a check in the mail. So you guys want to definitely be checking your mailboxes and definitely be checking your direct express cards to see if um, your benefits are on there, if your stimulus payments are on there. And then one last bit of information that I wanted to give you guys that I have found. So the Biden administration is extending a federal moratorium on eviction of tenants who have fallen behind on rent during the pandemic. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on Monday moved to continue the pandemic-related protection, which had been scheduled to expire on Wednesday, yesterday. So if you guys didn't know, the eviction moratorium was scheduled to expire yesterday, Wednesday. It says the moratorium is now extended through the end of June. The moratorium initially put in place last year provides protection for renters out of concern, uh, that having families lose their homes and move into shelters or share crowded conditions with relatives or friends during the pandemic would further spread the highly contagious virus, which has killed more than 545,000 people in the United States. Okay, To be eligible for the housing protection, renters must earn $198,000 annually or less for couples filing jointly or $99,000 for single filers. Demonstrate that they have sought government help to help pay their rent, declare that they can't pay because of uh, pandemic-related hardships, and affirm that they are likely to become homeless if evicted, all right? So, on top of that, it says in February, President Joe Biden extended a ban on housing foreclosures to June 30th to help homeowners struggling during the pandemic. Now, I went over some information about that in a previous video where you guys can go on to, I think it's knowyouroptions.com. If you're uh, in a current forbearance right now, you need to contact your service provider, which is the person or the, not the person, the uh, entity in which you make your monthly mortgage payments to and see what options are available. Also, check knowyouroptions.com. Um, that is all I have for you guys today in this video. I thank so many of you for wishing that I get better. I am feeling a little bit better, but I'm still fighting it, you guys. I, I couldn't get out of bed until literally right now, and I think it's about 1230 right now. I just got up 30 minutes ago, so I'm giving my body the chance to rest. I'm drinking lots of water, trying to stay hydrated, but with the weather being back and forth, it's hot one moment. It was 90 degrees yesterday, and then it dropped down to like 50-something um, at night, so... You know, us Californians are not really used to those sudden temperature changes like that, but I'm definitely working it out. But I do appreciate you guys. Remember to live, love, and elevate, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace.